Hi guys, it's Parts Sudharan with Remax Metropolis. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the basics of a mortgage. When I bought my first house, I didn't have money just sitting around in my bank account waiting to pay off the house in full. I had saved up for a down payment, but needed a loan to pay off the rest of the house. We're taught growing up that we need to save up for the things that we need to buy in life and not buy using debt. But that's not necessarily true when it comes to a house. There's good debt and bad debt. When it comes to a house, I consider that as good debt. For many people, a mortgage is necessary to make home buying possible. So what is a mortgage? It's a type of loan that's used to buy a home or a property and is usually paid off over many years. To figure out how much you need to borrow, take the purchase price of the house and subtract it by the amount that you have saved up for your down payment. When you're looking for your mortgage, here are some terms to get familiarized with. The first one is your amortization period. This is the amount of time it takes to pay back the loan. It's typically around 20 to 25 years. The second one is your term and it's the length of time your mortgage and your interest rate will be in effect for. For example, you can have a 25 year mortgage and may have a term for just five years. You don't need to pay off the mortgage in full at the end of your term. So at the end of your term, let's say if it's five years, you can choose to either renew or renegotiate your mortgage term to extend your payments. Third is the type of mortgage. You can choose between an open mortgage and a closed mortgage. With an open mortgage, you can make extra payments at any time. You may even be able to pay off the mortgage in full during your term without having to pay any penalty. But on an open mortgage, your interest rates are usually higher than on a closed one with similar terms. With the closed mortgage, if you want to change your mortgage agreement, like for example, if you want to take advantage of a lower interest rate, you will usually have to pay a prepayment charge. The mortgage lender may let you make extra payments at any time without charge, but with limitations on a closed term mortgage. The good thing is the interest rate on a closed mortgage is usually lower than the rate of that on an open mortgage. Your fourth one is your interest. You can either choose between fixed or variable. In a fixed, your interest does not change during your term and in variable, it may fluctuate. So those are the basic terms of a mortgage and knowing these basics can help you when you're negotiating your mortgage terms with your bank and it can also help you to choose the right one that fits your needs. As a rule of thumb, if you don't have any debt, you can typically borrow up to five times your annual salary. To confirm this, go to your bank and request a pre-approval. The key factor in choosing your mortgage is what you can afford in your monthly budget. And if you wanna know what your mortgage is going to be on a house that you're interested in purchasing, there are plenty of mortgage calculators online that can help. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions on the content here, feel free to give me a shout and I'll be happy to chat.